This video is going to make planning your trip a hundred times easier and take away all of the stress. I'm Keelan and this is Sarah. We have been fishing, surfing, full driving away around Australia for the past year now. Meet Percy and Keith Urban, our trusty steeds. Subscribe to join our adventure. Welcome back to another episode. If you're new to the channel, my name's Sarah from Sarah and Keelan Travels and Keelan's actually been ditched today, so it's not that in the video. Today we're going to look at wiki camps and then also how we get mail delivered on the road. These are two of the most asked questions we get all the time. So if you're thinking about heading off on a big trip around Australia or even just a short camping trip in your local state, wiki camps is definitely an app that you need to download. And if you're looking at traveling around Australia full time, then you will need to know how to get parcels delivered while you're on the road. So look at Wikicamps first. Basically it's called Wikicamps Australia and it's $7.99 on the app store or it was when we bought it. And it's the best $7.99 you'll ever pay. Like this thing, we use it every single day and it's just a one time purchase and then you've got it forever. So the first thing I'll show you guys is how to download your content when you're offline. So you go up into the home screen and then you go to offline maps and then you can download different sections of Wikicamp. So we've got the west downloaded and then if we wanted to download east we'd just press, down, press the download button. And then that means anytime we go into an area in that state we can look at anything regardless if we have internet or not. So. Oh. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> the next thing is how to find water points or dump points when you go into an area. So basically you go up to this top section here to filter. And this has got all of the different icons for the area. So you can see you've got your campgrounds, caravan parks, day use areas. And then you can select things. So if you want a free site, you press free, toilets and dump point. point. And then you press apply and <laughs> we can now see that none of that is available in robe oh my god okay so i've selected dump point i'm going to press apply and we can now see exactly where the dump point in robe is so you click on all the information and then it's got photos on there and you can see where the dump point is and that there's also drinking water available there as well if i just wanted water i can select show drinking water and then apply and it will come up with all the different water locations in robe all right so the next one is try and find a campground that you like in an area so if you go to the little green dot these are usually like your bush camps or free camps so we'll click on that and we can go stony rise we can have a look at the reviews so that'll show ah there's a bee So you can have a look at the reviews and you can see what people have actually said who have stayed here. So everyone's saying it's a pretty nice spot. So you'd think that this would be a decent um, place to stay. You go across, you can see fees. So it's $15 a night. And then across to photos. And you can look through people's photos and decide whether this is actually somewhere you want to stay. If you look at all the photos and then you decide, yep, this is somewhere I'd like to stay. You can then love heart it. And then that will appear on your map as a little love heart so that when you come into town you know okay that's the campsite that we've already looked at and that we want to stay at. So usually before we go into a town we'll go into wiki camps, we'll research the town, we'll have a look at all the campsites in the area. Most of the time we're trying to find free camps so we'll put the free filter on, have a look at all the sites and then choose the best site from there um, and we always use the reviews like hands down they're so good. However you do need to be careful with wiki camps reviews as some people tend to exaggerate or under exaggerate sometimes so someone might say oh this is the worst corrugated road I've ever been on this is the worst corrugated road I have ever been on or someone will say yeah I got my 22 foot van in there and then you'll go to the campsite and you're struggling to get your little like 16 foot van in yeah it got me bloody 37 bloody foot gooseneck down here it's hard as a rock Don't take everything you read on wiki camps as 100% true because sometimes people like to um, tell an exaggerated story like our darling Keelan. <laughs> Alright, the last part of wiki camps that I'll show you guys is the trip planner and this is probably our most used part other than finding campsites. 
So you go up to your home button, you press trip planner, and then you can see your whole trip of everywhere you've stayed. So you can see there, that's our whole trip of Australia. And we've marked the majority of the campgrounds that we've stayed up. To change your trip, you go up to change trip and you can switch between different camp trips. So say that's our Perth to Adelaide trip when we went and got our van. You can go new trip, you can actually put in how much fuel is at the moment, which is a touchy subject. I think it's like $2.30. And then you can either make it public or make it private. We always do ours private. Go done. And then that's a brand new trip. So I can go exit planner. I can go to Stony Rise, add to planner. So we've added Stony Rise to the um, trip planner. We're now going to click on this next campground that we're going to go to. We're going to press the little trip sign add to trip planner and you can either do use smart insert so it inserts it to today's date or end of my trip and then once you go back to your trip it's going to tell you how long to get to the next campsite so it's 600 meters so you can pretty much plan your entire trip before you leave and work out how long each day you're going to be traveling for before you actually go which is awesome okay so the next one is how do we get our mail delivered when we're on the road so for majority of our mail we've set up our letters to be online letters so if we have bills coming in they just come straight to our email box so we don't need to worry about any of that stuff but for parcels what we do is we go into our Australia Post app so you want to download the Australia Post app from the App Store log into your Australia Post account if you don't have one you will need to create one and then you hop down to the bottom section here and you go to my account and then you're going to go add delivery address and you want to use a parcel collect address so you click parcel collect and then I can zoom out and I can see the little red symbol which means that's the post office in robe I'll click on that and then I press add parcel collect address that then goes into your account and it adds as a new address for you all you have to do is use the exact address that they give you with the parcel collect number when you order parcels online or something like that. So it's super, super easy. <laughs> Thanks heaps for watching, guys. I hope that you got something from this episode and it's helped, oh my gosh, all the bees. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We really hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful, make sure that you do like and, sub like and subscribe. It goes a really long way to helping our channel grow. So go check out this West Australian adventure. This is our all time favorite spot on our trip and we had the best time there. Thanks for watching guys.